Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rafal and today we're working on iPhone 6s Plus that uh, came here with an interesting note. I actually was getting emails from this customer asking about FPC connector. Uh, what's the issue? FPC connector, error on the battery to one of the problem. Uh, there is apparently no image. So um, if you look at the battery, where's the arrow? You can see there's an arrow pointing to the connector and there's that a uh, piece of dust or something and um, I knew that was not enough to like well maybe it wasn't enough but it would not be a big problem the problem is right here where you have a burn uh, backlight filter and actually when you put a uh, good screen you will actually see half backlight on the left side uh, this is something that I'm getting quite often how much is the FPC connector replacement because I have no image or no backlight um, usually usually the connector is not the issue so uh, in this case we're gonna replace this filter it looks pretty burned so let's take out the board and replace the filter and hopefully that's all we have to do here I'm gonna clean this gasket around it I use some flux and heat to remove uh, the damaged filter So you can see this filter is completely burned, just charcoal. I'm hoping that uh, the pad underneath will be salvaged. Most likely not, and then we'll run a jumper wire from the capacitor. And this looks pretty bad. All right, so that pad is gone. I have to run a jumper wire from the capacitor. Let's remove this shield. To let the gravity do the work. I'm just waiting for the air to shut down because of the hum. Okay. All right, so we're going to run the jumper wire from uh, this capacitor here all the way here to this pad that's missing, and that's where we're going to solder the new filter to put some flux on the capacitor itself well, I'm gonna add a little bit of leaded solder to make it easier to solder the jumper wire and this is a 0.1 millimeter jumper wire just try not to make it short as well So we're going to remove this piece. There's a small gap over here where the shoe will go come back. Oops. Right over here. And then we'll make a turn here. And go up to there. So it's almost like stitching somebody up like a doctor. I was actually talking with one girl and she was a veterinarian she was a veterinarian then the uh veterinarian veterinarian the people that fix the dogs and animals and uh she was surprised like damn this is like actually microsurgery <laughs> And here's the leaded solder that I dropped. So I'm going to put a little bit of flux just to help the filter jump into that pad. Way too much air with this new nozzle.
once the uh, solder melts you're gonna see the filter just kind of jumping in there into the pad just kind of cool okay so you see the filter is standing up because that's the way the surface tension works on it I guess Alright, so now I'm going to solder this piece here, make a create a big blob here so the filter is actually held by something. Because right now we are missing the pad underneath here so there's nothing to grab. So this nice blob here should create a good support. Because you see it's moving loosely like that. I'm going to fix that. Not sticking, put some flux. We don't want to touch the top of that capacitor because that's brown. I should have thinned the wire first. There you go, that's a nice big blob. Okay, so it's connected with this capacitor. It's a little bit more sturdy. Let's make sure there are no shorts on the pin. Yep, it's all good. The top of the capacitor has short, but here we're clean. So that's good. making sure we have a connection from the capacitor all the way to the pin. You should hear a beep. And there we go, we have clean connection. Good. Let's test it out. Point the connector. Power. And we have full backlight. Perfect. Before this side was uh, dim, so luckily that's all this thing needed. It's iOS 11, so it's gonna do all kinds of other things. But so yeah, if you're getting no video or no backlight, it's not always the um, the connector itself. It's actually something else. Uh, so that's why I don't like when people actually prepay for repair and then shipping the device. Just shipping the device with the shipping form and then let me see what's actually going on and then we're gonna go from there, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll catch you later in the next video.